What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex. In this video, I want to talk about Don't Not expanding uh, their business, basically opening a brand new studio in Montreal, and also if this is a sign of some negative things to come. Now, I, knew, I know you could be saying, like, negative, like, why, why is that your, your first jump? Well, I'm going to explain why. Basically, though, let, let's go over what we know. So they have one studio, technically one, I guess, building, right, uh, in Paris, okay? So in France, they have a studio, and that studio is working on both Twin Mirror, which went dark for a very, very long time. I even made a video on this channel. I was very, very worried about it, but at the same time, uh, it's definitely come back, and they've had almost daily tweets about the game. Uh, very, very cool that it is coming back. I definitely would give this game all the chances in the world, uh, as well as the game Tell Me Why, which is the Microsoft exclusive coming later this summer. Okay, So they have two games in development there, and now they're opening a brand new studio up in Montreal to make a third game, and they actually have confirmed like they will be making a brand new game in Montreal, and the reasoning is solid. I actually do like it. And one of the things, you know, I, I, on podcast now, I was probably a very much hated person when it came to Life is Strange. But honestly, one of the things I had said for a long time with Life is Strange 2 is I don't think – Firstly, I don't think they were being fair to the general like political spectrum of the of of the United States, okay? And I also said I think they just have a, a wrong idea in general of what goes on over here, and it could be because they're not over here. They're literally in France, right? They're in Paris, so they have a very different idea of what it's like in in certain things. And and I guess you could say, okay, well, you know, people's experiences are going to differ, and I do agree with that. I would say that. I mean, obviously, uh, am am I one to talk? Right? Have I been in certain situations? No. But just in general, when you're not even over here and you're telling a story and all that kind of stuff, and I definitely, you know, if you guys hadn't watched uh, the videos of me talking about Life is Strange 2, uh, definitely go check those out again. They're, they're pretty hated, but I, I had a lot of fun uh, making them. There were just a lot of problems. and But funny enough, see, a lot of people would maybe have gone after me for that. They literally, they didn't say that specific reason, but they literally said that they're doing it to be more part of, like, the North American, like, atmosphere. Like, uh, if you're over, again, that's actually what I said. If you're over in North America, you will have a better sense of what's going on. Now, a lot of things can still definitely be twisted. There's no doubt about that. But here's the quote they said. We are delighted to share our plans of expansion with the opening of this new office in Montreal, completing the talented team working out of Paris. Our goal is to create video games as close as possible to our community's expectations. With this new international team, we will be able to envision even more ambitious titles and keep writing wonderful stories to our players. So again, I mean, there's definitely there's definitely signs of, of like I don't like necessarily all of that. Um, but at the same time, that is generally the idea, right? Like they literally kind of admit, like, hey, we want people that are over there because they are going to have the best sense of what people over there kind of want, and not just want, but feel about these situations. Now, again, can those situations or can those people, uh, you? know are they necessarily part of it do they have of uh, the right idea with them that is obviously uh, left up for debate so that is one negative in terms of I still think uh, they are still having some problems in terms of grasping one is fairness and two is, is again like representation of pretty much everybody they do definitely have problems with that but the second thing that you know I don't think is the first thing that comes to mind when you think about this but it is with me is yes it's basically a brand new studio okay so I mean literally it's a new building a new studio in another part of the world but the idea of being afraid that don't not is spreading themselves too thin is definitely still around I've always you know really after life is strange they were they were riding very very high right everybody had a lot of confidence in them including myself uh, but they in my opinion and I and you listen I have all the respect in the world for those guys. I know they work very hard. I have all the respect in the world for anybody that's making uh, games. I really like learning about game development. I get that it's an insanely, insanely difficult job. And ultimately, these guys put their heart and soul in every ounce of the game. For the most part, I mean, I'm sure there are uh, developers out there that are lazy or, or take uh, cheap, you know, cheap paths uh, to the end goal, all that kind of stuff. But uh, for the most part, I've been watching like the Uncharted 4 documentary uh, recently, and like, you know, they they work very hard. Uh, so I, again, I have nothing really against them. Them. I mean, you can still not like their product or say that the product's not good, but uh, you can ultimately still respect the work they put into it. But, you know, at the same time, it is still don't not. And if you have all of these projects being worked on at the same time, you still risk the idea of not just being burnt out, but burning out your consumers and ultimately kind of falling apart as a company. Again, like Telltale, I lit I believe literally from what we've heard from inside Telltale is it was a building, literally like this is the layout, it was a building and there were multiple 
floors in this building, and each floor was a different team that was working on like a different game. I'm pretty sure that's literally how it works. So although it's not that, and and look at what hap happened to Telltale. Now, uh, now, now there's definitely uh, you know reasons why Telltale uh, fell apart, multiple reasons actually. And so while yes, Don't Nod doesn't have every uh, part of their team in the same building, right? They still are gr they're growing, which is good. And ultimately, I guess you want your develop the more the the bigger you get, the more you're able to make more games, the the ability you're able to uh, make these games faster. So, I mean, there's definitely positives, but combined with, and again, going back to my earlier point, I have all the respect in the world for, for them and for them doing their craft, but at the same time, in my opinion... The only good game they've ever made is Life is Strange, the first one. I now I, I I adore Life is Strange. I think it's one of my favorite. I actually I I don't think it is one of my favorite games of all time. I, I don't think time is actually going to change that. And in fact, I don't even think anything, especially even like what they did to Life is Strange two. In my opinion, that didn't even change my mind. Life is Strange one is still such an important game. But besides that, Vampire, uh, Life is Strange two, even Remember Me. If we're going back then, Twin Mirror looked very very shaky. It still does uh, for the longest time and still does now they really have had a tough time making quality games that especially that sell really really well and I don't know how well uh, Life is Strange Season 2 sold and all that so I guess we we don't necessarily uh, know that but uh, I am still worried about them they can still definitely spread themselves out too far on top of they haven't made the greatest games of all time again like Life is Strange is important to me it's important to a lot of other people but it's not like the game sold 10 million copies it sold a couple million it sold like one, two, three million copies, okay, in terms of all of Life is Strange, uh, the first season. So I don't know if Life is Strange 2 beat it. In fact, I would actually predict that it didn't beat it. That would just be my prediction. But uh, I, I do care about them. I want them to make more games. I want to support their games. I want to buy their games. I want to play their games. I want their games to be really, really good. But at the same time, uh, I, again, like it's good that they're expanding. That's good. In fact, from a business point of view, that's awesome, right? More jobs, uh, you know, it helps, helps the economy, all these different things that re no, really are honestly helpful but at the same time I just really hope they're not spreading out too thin now it's not like maybe that studio is going to work with uh the France studio or the Paris studio right to like do stuff that you know that because that could definitely uh, hurt things that could definitely like strain things it's not like that's going to happen they're literally going to be working on their own game but it'll just be really interesting as to what that game is I mean obviously we have no clue if they I, I I would assume they just opened it like pretty recently so they're probably in very very early development of uh, whatever their game probably in like the pitching phase of their next game, but still exciting at the same time, uh, a little worrisome as well. So guys, let me know in the comments below what do you think? Is this exciting? You guys like that Don't Not is getting bigger, able to make more games, or do you think, you know, or can, or can you think that, and also think that this still is a little worrisome, that they maybe need to slow down? Uh, whatever you guys think, let me know in the comments below. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when these videos go up, and I do a new video on this channel every single day, and so I hope to see you guys on tomorrow's video.